As I get closer and closer to my 15th anniversary in pro wrestling, one thing I have learned is that the statement, controversy creates cash, has always rung true. And you know it's a cliche, and I hate cliches too, but they're cliches for a reason because they stand the test of time because they're true. November 11, 2011, the very first Big West Wrestling Show, and there was controversy when the National Wrestling Alliance said to me, hey man, you can't have an NWA Canadian title match at a non-NWA show. And that controversy got us major media play, and it put butts in seats. And Billy Corgan, I'm looking at you, baby. I hope you put butts in seats with your new NWA, whatever the heck it turns out to be. Call me. But here's the thing, controversy, May the 12th, Lake City Bowling, and people are complaining. Colin Cutler is complaining, Mike Rizzo is complaining, lots of people in that Cougar Mead Adult Social Society camp are complaining because apparently the 15 minute time limit stipulation for the television title, maybe we didn't pay attention and maybe the match went, I don't know, exactly 19 minutes and 49 seconds before I demanded an overtime period that only needed 50 seconds for Mike Shreds to tap out Colin Cutler and become three-time champion. Congratulations, Shreds. And you know what? People are mad. People are saying, why is Marty Sugar making these decisions? Well, you know what? Maybe if Mike Chisholm wasn't so preoccupied having dinner with Grant Fuhrer and hoping against hope that maybe Grant Fuhrer would invite him over for breakfast too, maybe if that wasn't going on, I wouldn't have to make these decisions. I wouldn't have to deal with the timekeeper, Handsome Pete, and we wouldn't have to be keeping an eye on Mike Rizzo hiding in the corner to see what's up. Maybe I could just focus on wrestling, which is what I'm going to do right now. I don't care what happened May the 12th. You got a problem? Say it to my face or shut your pie hole. I'm looking at Friday, May 19th. We got the Grapple Bowl, and the winner goes on to face the new champ, Mike Shreds, for the television title. So you know what? I'm looking at that. I've also got a huge match with Eddie Osborne that very same night. First time I've ever faced Eddie, and I'm looking forward to that. Then we've got May 20th, Saturday at, you know what, May Days? We got four, four shows. Four. Four of them. It's going to be awesome. And then Sunday we kick off with a final 1 p.m. matinee featuring the Rutland Rumble. And you know that no wrestler has won the Rutland Rumble twice, but the very first Rutland Rumble was won by me, and hey, maybe I'll be a two-time Rutland Rumble winner. And that's what I'm focused on. I don't give a damn about your television title controversies. The only part of the television title I care about is that at some point in May Days, I'm fighting you, Mike Shreds, and I'm winning it.